This video reviews two of the menus of the RUI display of the RCC 1081 refrigeration case controller, the network menu and process variables. I'll give you a brief description of the function and only display a few of the items in each menu. To view a complete list of all the menu choices, you can go to novar.com and download the RUI user manual. First, I'd like to point out that there are three LEDs on the display. The top one is for BACnet communications, and it'll turn red if the 1081 is not communicating properly with the executive module over BACnet communications. The middle LED is for sensor status. If any of the sensors have failed, that LED will turn on and be red. And you cannot see either of those right now because everything's good. And the last one is a heartbeat LED. It just shows that the display is communicating properly with the RCC 1081. So the first menu, the network menu, in order to go into it, you would scroll left or right until you get to the word net, which is for network menu. Press enter, and there's only three things you can set. If you choose to set the address of the 1081 through this display, as I mentioned in another video, all of the dip switches need to be in the off position and then you can set the address by pressing enter and then go and use the arrows to change the address and then press and hold enter until you have the address that you desire. And you can see the top LED just turned on which is BACnet communication failure. So that's a, a nice example of what would happen because the controller I'm using right now does not have BACnet communication. So I'm going to accept uh, an address of 255 and just hit enter until it goes away. And then I have to get back into the network menu in order to view some of the other parameters. The most common thing you would change is the baud rate for the BACnet communication. BDR is the baud rate. You press enter. And right now it's on 38.4. There's 19.2 and some other choices. Let's say that 38,400 is what we want. We just press enter hold it until it accepts it. And the last item in the network menu is the maximum number of masters and normally you would not set that through this display. That gets entered through the programming of the system. So now I will move on to the process variables menu which is PRO. And the process variables allow you to view all the sensor readings and other relevant control variables that pertain to the type of control you've selected for the 1081. For example, if it's controlling a, an electronic expansion valve, you'll be able to view the superheat reading and the valve position of the EEV. So I'll just show a few items as an example. We'll enter that. CCT is the air temperature cutout. BAT is the blended air temperature, so I'm not going to go through all of these. Uh, discharge air temp, you just press enter and it'll actually show you that value. When you're done viewing all the process variables, you can back out and go back to your normal temperature display.